So this is me one year ago, not knowing what to do with my life. A week after I stopped working with Typeform. very confused I was scared nervous and I was sad like after eight years I'm working with the same company it's like a breakup right I'm thinking about um, like the different businesses I could do and there's just there's a lot of options I knew that I wanted to build something and do something about branding because that's what I'm obsessed with that's what I like but I also knew that the way I've seen companies build brands it's kind of like very self-centered and self-oriented and i was like i don't like this like it's not i don't believe in this but i i don't i didn't know a better way and this video is the story on how i figured that out so with this context being nervous and moving on i went to vidcon And my goal was to learn as much as possible from creators. And this is not something I've shared before. I was very insecure when I went to VidCon. Do you feel self-conscious holding that thing? Um? Do you feel self-conscious holding that thing? Um. I felt like I was in a completely new space that I didn't know that much. And that was challenging for my ego because I went to VidCon and I felt a bit of like a fanboy. I just remember interacting with other people and being a little like shy. And then I remember walking on a corridor and that in a different moment, I came across Samir from Conan and Samir. I had met Conan and Samir three months before at South by Southwest. And I was gonna say hi and I didn't. How stupid, right? It felt like shit for like the next day or next day. I was like, why did I not say hi? Like this is so not me. And the reason why I didn't is because I felt insecure that like nobody would care about me because um, I was not in my space. I want to share this because we all have like moments of insecurity. It's good to know that you can do those things even, even if they are terrible at that moment, that you just do it and you'll figure out later. So for the first three months, I was like cooking these ideas on the career economy and like watching a lot of YouTube, trying to figure out how they do it. Like how do they get these engagement rates, this retention that they get on the videos. And I got the opportunity to talk at a conference in Melbourne. And it was the first time that I was talking about the career economy and it was super exciting for me. So I actually spent four to five full days just writing that talk. And now I'm gonna say this, I was excited, but I was really nervous. This is a business environment. I don't know if people will want to talk about Mr. Beast, but like, I don't know if people will resonate with this. And also Chris Do was on the conference. Like I was talking about branding and creators and he is a creator that talks about branding. So I'm like, hey, shit. Oh. I was nervous, okay, I'm just gonna say it. All right, massive round of applause. Alex, come on up, mate. Woo! And it went really well. So that gave me confidence to start pushing that out. And then Chris Zoe invited me to give that talk on the future. <laughs> Oh, you got me on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> and that's me, I take it as validation, right? So I had an idea, put it out, people resonated with it in real life, then made a video and it worked well online. So I'm like, okay, we're into something. Let's develop this together. So I've been building network online with a lot of different people connecting with people who are doing great things all in the career economy and have conversations, learn from them, pushing the career economy in this direction. People like Tom Boyd, who I recorded a podcast episode last week with. I was invited to do an AMA, ask me anything on the Collier de Samir Reddit. And I actually had a really good experience connecting with creators and brands in real life, where I organized the first coffee meetup for creators in the Gold Coast in Australia. I don't know, it's just like a really nice feeling. I'm excited, it's the first time I'm doing this. Yeah. 
And one of the things I've learned is that people are very excited. People are very excited about this happening because we don't know that these ads that we make our teams do, not cool, right? So, but we don't, I think we don't know better. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. My goal with this series is to share my journey and show how I'm building the business that I want to build. And also to connect with people like you who have similar interest in transforming advertisement. So let's make it happen together. I'm gonna make these videos as useful as possible. And if you're interested in being part of this and follow the journey, here's the next episode. Keep watching.